you doing, AP Econ students? This is Mr. Clifford. If you just watched the last video, you know we used the spending multiplier to figure out how to close a recessionary gap. Right? The gap was a $40 billion gap. We showed you in the last video how you could increase government spending, shifting aggregate demand to close the gap. And you practice calculating and using the multiplier. Now it's time for something tricky. Instead of using spending, I want you to try taxes. I want you to try cutting taxes to close the gap. Now I want you to keep in mind that decreasing taxes has less of an effect than government spending because people save that first round of a tax cut. All right, here's what we'll do. The first one we'll do together and the second one you're doing on your own because this can get tricky, so stick with me. All right, let's try this. If the margin of propensity to consume is 0.5, that means people consume half of additional income coming in and they save the other half, including a tax cut. So let's calculate first the multiplier. It's 1 over 0.5, which is 1 over 1 half, which is 2. The multiplier is 2. Now, last time we did this question, the right answer was 20, right? It was 20 billion. So let's say we did it. It's wrong, but let's say we decided to cut taxes by 20 billion. What would happen? Well, now consumers would have $20 billion more in their pockets. How much would they actually spend of that 20 billion? They'd only spend half, right? They'd only consume half. Why? Because the marginal propensity to consume is 0.5. So when they actually spend, then this actually becomes $10 billion actually spent in the economy. Two times 10 does not close the gap, right? It only gets us halfway there. So the right answer is not 20 billion. The right answer is actually 40 billion. What? I'm confused. I don't get it. The point is this. If the government cuts taxes by $40 billion, people will save half that tax cut, right? They save 20 billion, leaving over 20 billion to be used in the economy. That gets multiplied times 20. That closes the gap, right? So the right answer here, no doubt about it, is 40 million. Now, if that makes sense, let's switch it. Now, let's say the marginal propensity to consume is 0.8, so people only save 0.2 of an increase in their income, right? How much should the government cut taxes? All right, good luck. All right, you got it? Let's find out. First, let's calculate the multiplier, all right? It's 1 over 0.2, which is 1 over 1 fifth, so the multiplier is 5, right? Any amount of the tax cut, the amount that people do not save, is going to get multiplied times 5 to close the gap. The question is, how much is the tax cut? So the right answer here is going to be 10 billion. 10 billion? Are you sure about that? Yeah, it's 10 billion. Here's why. When the government goes out and they provide a $10 billion tax cut, right, people are going to save, right, save some of it. How much are they going to save? They're going to save 2 billion, right? That's 2 billion that's saved. How much actually gets spent? Well, the other 0.8, which is 8 billion. 8 billion gets spent, multiplied times 5, closes the $40 billion gap. The right answer was 10 billion. Okay, hopefully that makes sense to you. Until next time.